Three, two, one. And Matt, first of all, thanks for taking some time to talk with us. We appreciate it. I know this is uh, the senior season. A lot yes, of things sir. getting ready for this. What, what are the things you're looking forward to this year and things you want to accomplish on the field? Um, I'm just looking forward to just playing with my teammates and just getting back out here. I mean, it's my senior season, so I'm just very looking forward to that. And then just getting back to playing these Friday night football games, I mean, it's just something that you're always going to remember. So I just want to play and just, just play every down like it's my last one. So I'm just really looking forward to that. And I know you're getting a lot of attention, a lot of people like us coming out and talking with yes, you. Sir. Is this a uh, – did you ever expect it to be like this? I mean, it's kind of – you become a big deal right <laughs> yes, now. Yes, sir. I, I never expected it to be like this ever in my life. But since it's happened, I'm just truly blessed for it that it is happening. So it's nice. And when these colleges, they come and they tell you how you fit in their program, what give us a scouting report on you. What what can you do at the next level? Um, I think I'll be a, a good two-gapper. I can play a nose or over the guard or anything like that. So I just think I bring a lot to the table playing the D-line. So um, I could go into a three-front or four-front defense. So at like Notre Dame or Alabama, I'll probably play the nose. But at Kentucky or someone like that, I'll probably be a two-gapper. So, I mean, it's not bad. I, 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 I will probably play anywhere, but... I mean, at least it fits, and I fit in, so it's good. Well, people watching this who want to know where you're going to school will now say, do you have a preference where you play of the, of the two different styles? No, no sir, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kentucky, uh, obviously, that's that's our audience. What has their message been like to you? Uh, I know they send you lots of letters and yes, those sir. things, but what's their message been to you? Um, Coach Stoops and Coach Neil Brown, they talk to me all the time about how I can just change the program there and just, just turn it around and just how me and Drew and all these kids that come from Kentucky just be like the poster child and just what I can do on defense and just be like the captain of the defense and what he can do on offense. It's just, it's nice hearing that from the head coach and everything, just saying what I could do and what he can do. It's, it's nice hearing that. What, what's your relationship like with Drew? Um, me and Drew, we're, we're really good friends. We, um, we met at a football game and we just clicked in and now we text probably like every week, like every other day. So I like Drew a lot. He probably likes you because he doesn't want you coming after him. Too. Yeah, That's probably part of it. <laughs> I talk to him all the time, but I will sack you if I play it against you and everything. And he was like, well, hopefully you don't have to. So uh, I know and you guys have talked about maybe meeting in the state championship game. Yes, how, sir. how much of a goal is that for you guys? Is that something you talk about chasing that or is it just? Um, I will say that it's my main goal. I don't know about Drew's or anything, but the Mr. Kentucky football and all that and everything, it's just, I don't even listen to. I just want that state championship for I can look back on that and just be like, man, I want a state kids to my kids and everything and just say what I did and that we want to stay at John Harden just the first ever. So I just think that's very something just close to my heart that I can say. Where are you in your recruitment in terms of making a decision or those things? Um, I, I decide January 4th at the Army All-American game. So I got, I got a little bit of time to decide. So, I mean, that makes it easy on me just to, just had that just to be off for a little bit while I just played my senior season. So it makes it a lot easier on me. Do you have an order? I mean, some people like to think that Kentucky's yes, a favorite. Is that fair to say, or do you have an order? Um, I wouldn't say that's fair to say, but I would definitely say Kentucky's in the top half of my top six. So, And my top six is Alabama, UK, um, Tennessee, Ohio State, Louisville, Notre Dame. No order. No, no. <laughs> no order. <laughs> oh, when, so. when you get to that moment and you make that decision, what is that going to mean to you? Um. It's going to mean a lot just to have my family behind me and just some recruits and everything. Just to just say that I chose the right college and that I'm going to go play for a great university and just hope that I could just make a big difference in that university just somehow, some way. So There was a question on our Facebook page. We asked people if they wanted to ask you a question. And somebody wanted to know, you know, Kentucky is building their program and, yes, and the other programs on your list are having a lot of success. When you look at UK's program, is there something you want to see this season or what you're looking forward to see to kind of see what direction um, it's going? I, w I know that they're going to have a, a strong schedule to play and they're probably going to lose a lot. And that's not going to change my mind about UK. I've been living here for a long time and no offense, I haven't saw them win a lot, but that's not going to change or affect my decision on UK. But I just like to just see just the intensity more just change. And because I already saw like the spring football game, just just the fans and the players and the culture, just just a different outlook on football at UK. So. All right. Thank you very much, Matt. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you.